Next we have Usus Lebu Mashile. Halala! <laughs> Again, our very own. She is an award-winning writer, presenter, actress, and activist, and a South African household name who is recognized for her lyrical and gutsy poetry, which has captivated audiences in 25 countries. The mother of two from Johannesburg is a sought-after social commentator, speaker, performer, and master of ceremonies, whose infectious enthusiasm is infused into every platform she has touched over the last 16 years. Please help me welcome Usus Mashile. Thank you so much, Poetry Africa. I think it's like my 52nd time here. I've done so many things at Poetry Africa. I was at Poetry Africa for the first time 15 years ago. This platform has been instrumental to my career and the careers of so many other poets in South Africa. I wish you continued life. I've done everything here. I've been pregnant here. I've gotten pregnant here, if I do the maths right. <laughs> I dedicate, I dedicate my set tonight to Cheryl Zondi. Yeah. And to Feze Kanzugela Kuzwai. You don't have to clap, you can cry, you can breathe, you can think, you can sigh, you can laugh, you can react in whatever way you want. I'm just gonna go. Requiem for Winnie. Rip off the string that keeps this fragile country in its form. 55 million petals separate serrated blades guarding your bursting heart at the center. What did your father know when he raised you like a boy? Which part of your face's perfection broke your mother and every mother howling behind mouths no one dares listen to? The little girl who holds a stick and beats a man's world into submission is the woman who lays diamonds on a murderous nation's neck and then sets it ablaze. Who does not call this justice? The queen draped in regalia on a subversive courtroom catwalk is the prisoner stripped, dripping blood, paraded naked before men turned into beasts. Who taught our men to hate us? And if they hate us, can we call them ours? In the hours of loneliness, where your rivers burst onto pillows, sleeping children, and concrete floors, did we ever stop being yours? They lie in your name, despise in your name, erase, berate, bludgeon, belittle, deny in your name, in the ravenous gorge between what is written and what is true. An incendiary wall rises in your name. Like you, they would cast us as monsters. Steal our gems, then discard our carcasses into the wastelands of the scavenged. Like you, they would immortalize us with the mouths they use to say they love their mothers. In a country of contradictions, mothers leave their children because we love our children. Men give women their names. Women give men's names meaning. Men carry this wealth out the door as they are leaving. You are ever present and invisible. 
amplified and silenced, tortured and free, married and abandoned, elevated and degraded, warrior and healer, comrade and lover, bleeding and beautiful, playful and ferocious, Mary and Mary Magdalene, Ocean, Kali, Sekhmet, with life and death in the palm of your hands, you are gone and everywhere. I'd like to call Mfana Mlambo to the stage, saxophonist, please, to come and accompany me on the next piece. These hills are made of thunder, lightning, mm -hmm. wonder, dreams, and hunger. Mm -hmm. These hills have made us, but our people, they do cast us under. These hills rock with lullabies to the night, caress the moon and at dawn the sun they do ignite these hills are purple orange green and gold where they kiss the sea freedom has no color it is the sound of the heartbeat the memory of our feet touching the skin of the earth these hills are alive beyond death. They are the first breath at birth when we hurt each other. These hills bear the curse into history's unending song. These hills will write our worth. Young man, Live long and tell them where you come from, wealth is values lived. Live long and tell them they cannot take what was never theirs to give. Live long and show home grows within you wherever you dwell. Your soul is your true home. Your soul won't be controlled by yourself. The land's immortal body bleeds into the horizon of memory. As time writhes, twisting and contorting with the changing norms of morality. Royal blooded herd boy, barefoot belligerent, agitator, black martyr, sanctified black president, black Jesus of investment, black snake charmer for the politics of the present, mythologized black Saint Nicholas, de-radicalized, neutered like MLK's essence, a teddy bear or a terrorist, a visionary vanquisher or victim, a Coca-Cola communist branded in a marketer's telltale prison. Who can define the weight of a label, the mic, the pen, or the jail's hell? A colossal heart in the body of the father of the nation. How many times do you wish you fathered your own children as well? What will we speak of your deeds when your chest no longer heaves, when your last breath and death are sold to fulfill a gnawing need for heroes we can conquer when accepting consequences becomes too complex? 
We've smoothed your imperfections into who we long to be. Now who we are reveals itself. We are the walking wounded, a pedophile king, a presidential rapist. We are the entrances and exits the hills never forget. The existential crisis of a miracle overstretched. The enigmatic heart chakra of the planet. Bloodied, scarred, perpetually blessed. We are you. A giant silenced. Swimming in dreams of blue hills. Telling the truth will be our biggest test. Fanam Lambo, ladies and gentlemen. Reba Mashile ba se khodi sa Malikani. Mukibane wa Munesa Morale ngwana wa le pula ni pula ha chabe. Ke ma chaba tla di se go thaka mosela ntheng ya thaba magale a se go rubele re machilwane a shibe a shila naka la mushidi ka mosho a shila tlhogo tsa batho rena ba maswika mara maga eke go mai a chilwane We call on memories buried deep inside skeletons of the first people to walk the skin of the earth, who nursed and nested in the cradle and spread civilizations across the planet like seeds. Tell us of air that flows through the heart of the land to all life and creation. Tell us of breath, the first song Tell us of words like constellations mapping our contributions to humanity. Tell us of infinity, how the universe lives in us. Tell us which stars bear our names so we no longer have to fear the night. Tell us of Earth of roots that course through the body of the land like veins through flesh. Tell us of the force that squeezed the red sand like dough to form mountains. Tell us how to build strong communities like gemstones forged under extreme pressure. We call on the desert to remember when she was the bottom of the sea. Help us understand how to be fluid like water, how to remain supple without losing our identities. We call on volcanoes to inject us with flames of imagination. Once we carry tongues burping fire, we melted metals with our minds tell us what we have forgotten. We are not afraid of bones. Tell us what we have lost. We're not afraid of remembering. Tell us what has been erased. We are not afraid of time. Tell us who we once were. We're not afraid of ourselves. Everywhere you go, there are bones. Lining the bottom of the ocean floor. Twisted rope, rotting flesh, dead hope. Click, click, says the camera. You keep asking for more. Everywhere you go, bones like a fabric, they tie you into knots. Not love, you can't have it. You wear them like a cloak. 
bones, my belonging. You love the grip of fear, not love. You can't have it. Burnt bones fill the eyes, minds of the children. You serve them hell as life ignite flames in the stitches burnt bones on their knees, begging for forgiveness. Click, click, says the camera. This is survival. This is business. Bones queued up, single file, papers ready. Bones at the border, this is business, money heavy. You love the taste of bullets. Minds of the children, you love the cut of borders like your own hands stitched them, you filthy little faggot. Bones snapping in the mouth, you crazy black Bitch, you chew the bones, you spit them out. Bones between books. Books become laws. Bones fill these streets, you chew them up, you spit them out. Bones of twisted ropes pulling millions to the shore. Bones breaking over me, you chew them up, you spit them out, and you keep asking for more. How much time do I have left? Thank you, you're very kind. No, you're joking. You are joking. Five. Are you serious? Okay, okay, that makes sense. But you stole my time, Luna. Cow clapper, man. Cow clapper, cow clapper, cow clapper. Okay, so do you want. Hey, it's a choice. It's a deep choice, guys. It's a deep, deep choice. Decide. Both. Hey, okay, askies. Thank you. I feel, Sister I apologize in advance. Get all Rohana and Uting, Mamgrina, Kiao Shompa, Dr. Mshope, Nyaglava. I always feel bad swearing in front of Sister I don't think I ever have. I think I actually make a dis deliberate decision to do poems without profanity when she's around. But because this is tonight, is tonight, and hey, hey, Cheryl Zond is on trial, man. You know, we must talk, we must talk. This poem is called Vulva Volcanoes. One. What indestructible substance is a woman's heart made of? The heart must be a vulva. Bleeding, stretching, contracting, connecting, fertile, infertile, birthing, dying with each lost lover, unborn child, and orgasm. Life hands us these hearts without insurance. At the heart of owning property is owning women. Neither land nor sky nor sea, animal, plant, patent nor crown can be owned without conquering pussy. Once we made love and children as the seasons make rains and harvests unowned. When we worshipped wind, stones, blood, moon and story. Respectability and forgiveness are concepts sold to niggers and women so that we do not question why we do not have power with the same ferocity with which power is taken from us every waking day. There is a cross burning between your legs. They sell Jesus as a placebo, as if a revolutionary would ever endorse pay-as-you-go churches or the asinine bullshit done daily in God's name. You die slowly making life easy for what is killing you. Two, 
This is not the motherhood of pink and blue ribbons and fluffy toys. This is not an ad for women who worry more about washing powder than they do about finances. This is not an exaltation of asexual mammies who only know dicks in darkness that will not claim them in daylight. I am not a nurse maid, whore, teacher, quasi-spiritual quarter to ape with loving maternal instincts who will slowly comfort you into truths you cannot accept. How long have you been fucking your mother sideways, over and above the myths sold to girl children through baby dolls that never cry and Barbies that bleed, that breed without genitals? I waited for Prince Charming to save me for so long I forgot to be my own hero. I will raise my children to believe in opposites. If you love yourself, they will hate you. If you can live in their world, you are dying. If you chase their approval, you will hate yourself. If he hits you, hurts you, hurls your heart against the wall, it's because he does not understand the relationship between blood and consequences. It's not your job to teach him. Nobody claps for martyrs. They'll build a shrine upon your pain and say they did it in your name. Rather go mad. Because this 3D world is just an asylum for truth tellers. Thank you for letting me do the last poem because it's very special to me. Uh, we were sleeping on the beachfront, you know, and every morning I wake up and I look at the ocean and the first couple of days I was so weepy because it makes me think of Fezek, uh, you know of Kwezi, and her complicated relationship with the city, how much she loved it, why she came back to the city even though the city hated her, she loved it, and she loved the sea. And, and I see her and I see the sea and I, I watch what's happening to Cheryl Zondi and I see the public outcry against it and I remember that these are the screams, these are of screams of support that Fezeka never heard, you know? So somewhere, somehow, you know, it's her as an ancestor standing up and saying, yes, this is me, yes. I dedicate this poem to Fezeka and it's written for Kwezilom Som Bandazayo, who has a very young, young, young woman, barely out of her teens and a young activist gave Vezeka her name, Kwezi, to wear as a shield, as a disguise to protect her during the rape trial. With nothing else to give, no fortunes, no fortress, no arms, no just judges, no, no equitable courtrooms, no pens, of absolute absolution to retell history and no towers from which to shout its truth. You gave your name. The grace and intuition with which your ancestors chose Quesilomso. This particular audio frequency, morning star, light of dawn, the never ending promise of rebirth for the worldly, wicked, weary, wise, wonderful, and what, what alike, sorry I missed the word there, is not wasted. We have cried for this name in another realm that bears witness. We have washed you with our waters. May they carry you to shelter. May you rest upon their shores. May they protect you with their salts and soften your skin like salve. Your life has stretched way beyond itself. We enter the world with nothing more than the small skin of our mothers. If we are lucky, we leave a name behind. You are twice born in this world. You have died once already. The ancients say if you die in a dream, it means you will live forever. You are the dream of everlasting mornings. You are the death 
of the long, painful night. You are the golden fabric around the waist of the new day and your name, beaten, broken, battered, bruised, grows new skin with each tear. What magic are you who dies and still lives? What magic are you who shares more than what you have? What magic are you in a place where we love the dead more than the living? You give, she dies. You live, we love your name. We know her name. We love you both, Quasi.